Hey everyone, I'm Tythonus, and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy XIV. So this episode, we are going to be doing the Final Fantasy XIV-16 crossover event. So let's hop into it. Hello, Mom. Hello. Okay, I'm uh, <coughs> talking to the person now. Oh, my what? goodness. Second the, part? No, the first part. Oh, okay. Uh, are you Tythonus? I am. How'd you know? Thank you, Brenny. I'll see you in the hopes of your aid, some matter. Okay. Greetings, champion. Burning land. These are all members, probably. I said the other place, the burning land. The one wall. in Thanalan? Yeah, that's where I'm at. He's here, so. I don't know if you pick the other one if it would work. You should try it. <laughs> no, I didn't. It didn't. It didn't work. Oh, okay. Burning wall. Let's try that. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Close hmm. <clears throat> Okay. Now. Before I go off and do that, oh, before I go off and do that, I need to stop by my barracks and check with my troops here or squad real quick. I sent them on a oh okay on a mission. Um, I don't report? think I'm doing that right. So I don't think I'm. I don't think I fully understand what you're supposed to do. I know you're supposed to do command missions with them. Like you're supposed to go do dungeons with them but they're stupid and they get me killed every time um okay so is my overall squad level 10 then I guess it must be what it is okay Ew. let's send him another mission naked bunny lady we're not phone gross are you eating something age two. seriously are you yeah pretzels something? It sounds like you were eating something else. No, I'm eating a pretzel. Ew. Come look at her. She's gross. No, Mom, I'm recording. <laughs> oh. I was talking to Ashley. <laughs> I don't know why people have to be naked. I'm just recording. I'm not going to come look at that. What does that sound? No, I meant Ashley. I'm eating a pretzel. What does that sound? I don't know. What does it sound like? That was weird. Sound like I something clicked on my screen. Oh, that was weird. Okay, I'm in camp. I'm going to camp tribe. Yes. That was rude, Ashley. What'd you do? She said I smell. She told me I smell. She sent me a private message.
Except it's on recording, Ashley. You can literally see it right here. I'm gonna zoom in on that. What? Nothing, Ashley's saying no one will believe that she's told me I smell. Oh. And I thought I'm just Where gonna. Did you say it? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna zoom in on my recording. I'm zoom in on that chat. She's gonna be in trouble now. Oh. Hello. Alright. The wandering minstrel. Burning Hello. wall, an app name indeed. Hello. It's said that these crystalline structures were formed when falling shards of Dolomon pierce the land's ethereal current. Some see them as a symbol of rebirth, a manifestation of renewed life, but that is neither here nor there. <clears throat> Let's have a look around, shall we? Spyglass is at the ready. I have a spyglass. Or do I? Dun dun dun. Then you spray the land, you may move with camera as well. Target an area, inspect it with left click. Okay. Oh, okay. Can I actually. I'm actually doing this. Oh, I am. Wait, what are we looking for? Oh, I don't know how to do it. Make an unusual discovery. Survey. Oh. Oh. Wait, zoom is what? Oh, you can oh. zoom in and out with your mouse mouse wheel. Oh, oh then I you, see. Uh, you then you can. Then you click on Which it, way? I guess. Did you find it? Oh wait, there's a person down there. I found it. Where is it? Down like towards the bottom left. Like zoom in, it helps if you zoom in. I, it'll, it'll be pretty obvious once you see like a person. Like it's probably like this black looking rock. The left or the right? D I went oh. down into the left. You'll see it. Oh, it, yeah, I see it now. And then what do you do? Oh, okay, there we go. Then you just left click on it. Okay. And it like, then it starts it or whatever. What? That's Clive. Oh, yeah, you're fine. Thank you. It's okay. I'll finish it. Okay. Are you almost done with your pretzels? No, I'm sorry. What's going on? Fun fact, I own Final Fantasy 16. Yeah? I own it. I have yeah. not I've played it a little bit. Um remember when I dropped that cup on my toe and it got all messed up and I couldn't walk for like a day or two? I played it a little good bit then. Just sat on my couch and played it. Is it a single player? No. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. So I couldn't play with you? No. Oh. I almost bought, uh, repurchased, I guess, uh, Final Fantasy XI, like a few days, or like a few months ago. It was on Steam and it was like, it was like dirt cheap. And I was like, I should buy that. And I was like, oh yeah, I'll do that. And then I forgot to. Oh. Is that a single player? No, Final Fantasy XI, Mom. It's the same as this one? Mom, that's the one I used to play. Oh. Well, why would you play that one? Nostalgia. Oh, okay. It's not on sale again? I don't know. They tell Ashley to stop sending me messages while I'm in these scenes. Fron frontistory? Yeah, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't even attempt. I didn't even attempt that one. Mm. I'm just reading the dialogue right now. Didn't feel like reading reading it out loud. Reading it in my head right now. Hey, guess what I got my botanist up to? Ashley. I don't know. What? Sixty. No, I, I, oh, cool. Oh, I'm like, I clicked on it and I wasn't doing anything. I was like, what's happening? <laughs> I forgot that I was looking around. Our foundling is being cared for as we speak, but I'm told he should be released soon. Hopefully just not. That... <coughs> oh, excuse me. 
<laughs> Twas not the bite of food and a little bed rest couldn't cure. <laughs> there he is. It's kind of you to wait, thank you. What of your condition? Much improved. The psyker also noticed no signs of injuries or illness. Yeah, my memories remain hazy. How did I end up here? There. Well, whatever I was doing, it was important. I'm sure of it. Yeah, I must return as soon as possible. I see. We cannot leave him in this state. We must help him restore his memories and find his way home. It's an awful lot like, uh... Yeah. Uh, Noctis. What of the city, Clive? Do any parts of Old Doss strike you as familiar? His name's Clive. Clive, yeah. No, maybe I've simply forgotten, but I recognize nothing. 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 <laughs> hmm. Not an Old Da, then. Uh, still, I should like to think that the sights and sounds of a well-known locale will hasten your recovery. <clears throat> the burning wall, the place where we found you, is situated in midway betwixt Uldan and Gridania. Perhaps a trip to the Twelve Wood is in order. Gridania, you say? That name rings no bells, but I have no better suggestions. <clears throat> and would you like to take me there? Sure. I'll take you there, Clive. Meanwhile, I shall <clears throat> make the rounds of the neighboring settlements and ask if any of have heard of you. Let us rendezvous in Gridania and on. <coughs> I'm sorry, I got like a frog in my throat. <coughs> Make a drink. I have. Uh, sparkle. Wow. This entire situation has me knocked off balance, I'm afraid. Tythonus, was it? I appreciate you coming to my rescue. Still, you must have had your own uh, have your own business to attend to. We can set out whenever you're ready. Okay, that's the first part. <coughs> Five's ready to travel to Gridania. The quest is available for a limited time only. <coughs> Are we ready? Then let's head out. This Gridania, the minstrel mentioned. Is it far? Will we need mounts? By airship? You have those? Not that I mean to doubt you, friend. If you say we're boarding an airship, then that's what we'll do. Wait a minute. I don't He's want to right. do that. He was right. He was right beside you. <laughs> Tython, if I, may, oh. if, I, if I may ask a foolish question, do these airships actually fly? <clears throat> they do. A foolish question indeed, then. Your expression tells me much. Uh, much. First time traveling by airship. Is there no airship travel where you're from? So what do you it would pick? seem. I'll pick the opposite. I, I picked the bottom one. The airship travel where you're from. <clears throat> it's okay. odd. I know that the weapon on my back is called a sword. I understand what it is for and how to wield it. Foggy as my memories may be, my general knowledge seems intact. Yet hearing you speak of functional airships, I felt confusion, disbelief, for something that you clearly think of as commonplace. <coughs> I can make no sense of it. Where was I before now? Ah, but dwelling on this is pointless. Forward is the only way. Do you know who this guy is? He's the he's the main character of Final Fantasy 16. Oh, okay. His name is Clive. Yeah, just like Noctis was the main character from 15. Yeah, but Clive. Clive, Ooh. baby. It's not a good name. I don't know. I like Clive. I think it's cool. Well, you're lame. <laughs> oh man. Hey, Clive. Dude, out of my way. This you gotta say it like a bro. Hey, Clive. What's up? What's up, Clive? Just kidding. That was Noctis. To feel that praising wind, that deck shuddering beneath our feet as you rise into the sky, my memory may be faulty, but that was an experience I'm sure I'd soon forget. <clears throat> uh. <clears throat> so this is Gridania. It seems very unlike the city we just left. Where to begin? I think it, it best if I follow your lead. Keep him at your side in order to proceed with the quest objectives. You can leave Clive behind by entering a different area or by speaking with him and selecting the option to part ways. Uh, return speaking from the original location. Okay, so he's following me now? Yes, okay. Five and I kind of match. We both got like the red and black going on. Why aren't you waiting for me? So I'm right here. Where? 
following, walking with mom. Where are you going? I went out the door. Isn't that where you went? No, I'm at the top. <clears throat> There's like a thing here. Oh. oh okay. <clears throat> you ran past me. Oh my gosh. What is this thing? <clears throat> I, I had to walk in there with Clive. Did you? Is Clive following you? Uh. No, did I don't you, know where he's at. Did you talk to him down Wait. below? Did you miss talking to him down below? Oh no, here he is. Wait, happen? Okay. Okay. No, I had to go in there and see if I'm... Is he coming? Hello? Yeah, okay. You have to, like, go to each of the sim sim uh, shimmering circles on the ground and then talk to him in those. Oh, okay, and then talk to him. Okay. Yeah. That's what I missed. A chocobo. Now that's something I recognize. It's more than that. I had my own chocobo once. I'm sure of it. But as for when or where... <clears throat> okay. Where are we going to now? Oh, over here. Right close. Hmm, impressive crystal. Not a mother crystal, surely. No, not nearly large enough. <clears throat> oh, when I try to remember, the fog in my head almost seems to grow thicker. <clears throat> Showing him now. Oh, there she is. That's who I wanted you to look at. I'm not looking at her. I'm recording. <laughs> <clears throat> Family friendly, Mom. Family friendly. Mm -hmm. This is truly a beautiful place. Taking a liking to Gridania, then. Or I'll say, have you remembered anything else? Mm, brief flash of this and that, but nothing to suggest I've been here before. I just can't shake the strangest feeling. As if it's too peaceful. And that doesn't sit right. Patrol reporting, Commander. All is quiet with his exile. No sightings of Garuda. For which we are proudly grateful. At, le at ease, soldier. Did he say Garuda? Garuda. It's always Garuda. Why are we always fighting Garuda? Yeah, why is that? I know. <clears throat> you there. This Garuda you speak of. Oh. Uh-oh. Sir, are you alright? Pythonis, do you know this gentleman? Memory loss, you say? I'm sorry to hear that, though. It seems Garuda's name has a little spark of some sort. I was in a battle with Garuda. I fought her. I'm sure of it. Please, you must tell me more. Anything that might help me remember my past. Of course, Gridania owes a debt of gratitude to anyone who stood against that destructive fiend. However, there is one more suited to the task than I. Our eldest seed seer <coughs> is well-versed. Not only in primal lore, but also in the treatment of bodily affliction. She's surely your best hope of recovery. Kane Asana? Still Glade Fane? Where Kane Asana is. Yep. Kane Asana. The Lotus Stand lies ahead of, you, ahead of you, if you would just follow me, please. Okay. Greetings, honored guests. You guys got a bad mustache. Commander Hello has apprised me of your friend's condition. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Kane Asana, Elder Seeds here of Gridania. I thank you for your gracious welcome. 
Oh, dang, I clicked too fast. Please concern yourself not with proprietaries. It is your memory loss we are here to address. I am told Garuda's name awakened some previous reco recollection. Yes. In the instant I heard it, a hazy vision of battle rose unbidden. Uh, I think perhaps if I could hear more of Garuda. A wish easily granted. Garuda is a deity revered by... Well, here in the Twelveswood. an entity half bird half woman who commands the wind itself most frightening however is her cap uh, capricious capricious temper yes. as a, unpredictable as a howling storm I should add that Tythonus has fought against Garuda in her primal incarnation I have twice three times actually well because we fought her once normal once hard and then again with Noctis a winged woman of volatile temperament with a power over the wind. A fitting description of the opponent I remember. But a deity? No. The, the will behind that monstrous visage was a distinctly mortal. I, sus I suspect Clive's Garuda and Eorzea's primals are not the one and the same. Mainly as Clive himself is not of our world. Explain yourself, minstrel. I went back to where we discovered Clive and questioned folk in the nearby st settlements. Not one person I person recognized his description. Such a distinctive tattoo escaping the notice of every local r rumor monger for Malms around? Improbable, to say the least. But what about Yalms around? That led me to consider another possibility, one consistent with past accounts I have heard of visitors from other worlds somehow stumbling through reality's curtain and finding their way to our star. My brand, it's the mark of the bearer, of a bearer. Ah. Does it pain you to remember? I feel the memories trying to surface, but when I strain to recall, a piercing ringing fills my ears. Garuda, Bearer, Ifrit. Another primal's name. But it seems the pain has a less than tangible source. Long have I studied the healing arts, yet I sense no shadow of illness in your body. Your suffering stems not from injury nor sickness. Victims of a terrible events have been known to suppress their own memories out of instinct. One, one subconscious denies attempts to confront the awful truth the mind creating a shield of pain to protect the heart. The barriers of my own making. How then am I how then am I to overcome it? With our aid, of course. Fate has brought us together, and together we shall triumph over this adversity. Got very fluffy hair. I want that hair. Five again. Blowout. So you think me from another world, and my memories of said world are not like to return unless I acknowledge some terrible truth, a truth my mind refuses to remember. It's a confounding dilemma, I agree, and I have given thought to a solution. I believe that the shackles which bind your mind may have yet be struck off in the heat of battle. A drastic measure, perhaps, especially when not at your best. Which is why I turn to you, Tythonus. You are the twin to Clive's wandering star. Your involvement is no accident. The path I see is thick with thorns, but if you've the will to walk it, then gird yourself for war and await me at Apolka Falls. Apolka? Apolka Falls? I don't know. At Sounds the good. falls. Clive again? Oh, Clive seems presence. somewhat bemused. Mitra has a plan, it seems, but he shares little beyond confusing metaphor. Still, I'm willing to indulge him if it means making progress. Or to meet him at Al Ap Apkula, Apkula Falls? Apkalo Ap Falls? Apkulo Falls? Kool-Aid Falls? Right there. Uh, oh. Where is that to be found? Kool-Aid Falls. Kool-Aid Man. Kool-Aid Falls. Good, not far then. Let's go get on with it. 
Okay. Where is it at? It is. Uh, oh. There's a, there's a thing over here. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Live. Okay. Uh oh. This place. Why here? Because this waterfall is where the legendary Archon Louis Swa gathered a band of adventurers in the time of the seventh umbral calamity. Their purpose? To extinguish the infernal Ifrit. Ifrit. Ugh, I know something is there. I just... Why can't I remember? I have recalled several words in Elder Seedseer's presence. Words which brought him pain. While the significance of the bear eludes me, you and I are more than familiar with Ifrit. Considering your reaction to the mere mention of the name, it is likely that the primal, or its equivalent in your world, is deeply connected to your condition. Thus have I resolved to weave my lyrical magics and bring you face to face with the effort of our world. Great. Here, where Archon Louis Soi paved an ethereal path to the primal lair, I will, uh, will my words to be given substance, and within the vision which takes form will you do battle with the phantom of our mind's creation. Imaginary though this confrontation may be, I fear your suffering will be all too real. Yet you must persevere, for your hidden truth will not be unearthed without hardship. Take heart, Scarlet Star, and call upon the strength of your shining twin. Your past awaits. Say path of past. <laughs> That's okay. It's one of the two. It's one of those words. They're the same thing. Okay. Level yeah, sync. It Proceed. Oh. Ah, crap. I shall leave the party. All right, Clive. Let's do this. Oh, it's got a, it's doing the cutscene again. Skip it. Oh, I can't. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> Rather can skip it. Proceed. Here we go. All right. Oh, I love fighting Efrit. Clive doesn't look happy. Where has he sent us? You stand the bows of the embers, the site where El Majah summoned their patron deity, the stage upon which the warrior of light became a slayer of gods. <laughs> you look confused. It is but convincing illusion, the body of a recounted tale given breath by fanciful verse. Come forth, Lord of the Lord of the Inferno. Come forth. Let's go. <gasps> That's what's gonna happen tomorrow, Mom. What? Oh, yeah. Efrit's gonna come tomorrow. Oh, is that it? Yep. People think there's a bunch of other stuff, but it's actually just Efrit showing up. Whoa! Well, that's that was worse. cool. That was cool. An accurate fan. Uh, yeah, not quite the Efrit, you know, I don't even know what that word is. What the? No, what is that? Not quite the same. Oh quite my same. gosh. I mean, not quite the same. Yeah, yeah. Wait. Oh. Oh. oh my goodness. That What's... is spooky. Oh, hey. Oh. Hey there, guy. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, my oh, goodness. Do we have to do this? Can I just skip it? <laughs> nah, we gotta do this. Whoa, that's cool. Oh, my gosh. Not, now's not the time, my gay. I know, right? Shake it off, man. It's time to uncover the truth. Alright. 
Oh. I'd rather do this with you. Right. Time to find out who I am. He gets out of here. He's like, I'm Tythonis. No, no, you're Clive. No, I'm Tythonis. He confused <laughs> him more. He doesn't know who he is. Oh. Uh, hey, quiet. I'm still watching. Efrit. That's the thing which killed Joshua. Yes, I've been on its trails so seeking vengeance for my brother. Oh, I do know some of this. I know none of it. I do know some of this. This fiend must pay. Fight with me, Tythonis. Special duty action. Oh, this music is cool. Flames to charge the phone. It's kind of like, like Noctis's thing, I think. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This How many times cool. did we fail? He's running through the charge phone and inflict high damage. Crap. The proper timing, you can dodge to avoid taking damage, even if you are within the area of an enemy's attack. Wait, what does this mean? Uh, certain enemy attacks two, will three? be preceded by a countdown icon. When this countdown progresses to the dodge icon, quickly use it. So two, one, then okay. dodge. Okay. It's two. It's just the dice. That's what. It's just like when it counts down, hit the dice, the dodge button. After after executing oh. successful dodge, the dodge action will change to precision strike, which provides an opportunity to inflict additional damage. Okay. Similar to Noctis, just different. Oh my gosh. Oh, this music is epic. Oh my gosh. Where did you get it? Ooh, hey, here we go. Oh, so which one? So. So you get it, it, it pops up, so it gives you a chance. Wait, do I hit right in flames first? No, you hit the the dodge icon. Get away from me. It counts down, does two, one, on your screen, and then you have to hit the, the little dodge icon. And then hit it again to d jump back into the fight with them to do more damage. I see you can use the dodge button every any time. Okay. You don't have to wait for the countdown. Oh, he 
He says he can't move. I don't know what to do for him. Buy me some time. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh. Hey, what's happening? You can't just tap, tap the button. Tap the button. What button? When he starts ch coming down, you just tap the button. I, I can't attack him or anything. It's stuck. No, there's a there's a thing that shows up. Oh no, nothing showed up. What? Ha I don't know what happened. You did something wrong. Dang it. Right beside him, those like little this little crystal thing shows up, and you r run into it, and then it. Uh, By Clive. Yeah, it's, by, it's like right in front of Clive. And, uh, okay. It said buy me some time, like I thought yes, I was you, then you to run, attack. Yes, you run up into the little crystal that you interact with. Oh, okay. But I had to. I thought I was supposed to attack Ephra. Couldn't do it with the other one. Oh, that'd be so cool, though. And dodge. And jump back in. Oh, uh, oh, the swords. Oh, shoot. Pop up, and you'll start to start mashing it. There'll be a button, it's a, a mash this button or whatever. No, no, I don't know what happened. I failed did, again. You did it wrong. Dang it! There was no button. There is definitely a button. Uh, all I saw was the black cube thing. But, okay, well then for you, that's what it is. But I was smashing it. 
gosh. Whoa. I was doing really good too. Dang it. Oh shoot. Here we go. Oh, okay, we'll just pop one out. Dude, I can't see. Okay. Okay. Got him! Yeah. Let's go. I blame another to spare myself the guilt. I feared that by accepting it, I would lose what little was left of me. Oh, I can't. It's just progressing the dialogue itself. But I accept the truth of it now. You are not. You are not different. I am. is awesome. I've got I really got to play Final Fantasy 16 now. The battle against your own mind would seem that you have emerged the victor. Intriguing. No, I've already died twice because I get stuck at this one part. I can't see where I'm supposed to hit. No, just beat it. Oh, not yet. No. I thought you said, did you beat it? <laughs> what, what are you fighting? Some kind of... Ifrit, some... This is Torgal, a wolf pup raised in the duchy. There is no more loyal ally in battle and no keener guide with the road ahead is... Oh, when the road ahead is uncertain. Ah, that would explain the aberration in the lingering aether. Torgal is here to lead you back to your own world. Clive has embraced his harrowing past, and is doing so, and and in doing so, reclaim the memories he lost. Those not conscious acts, he has manifested his readiness to return home in the form of a trusted companion. Even so, it was difficult. To accept what I'd done. My younger brother Joshua was a kind and gifted soul. The inheritor of the Phoenix Flames, he was destined to become the Archduke as our father had before him. But Joshua was murdered, his bright future cut short. From that day onwards, I lived for one purpose alone a dominant of fire had slain my brother, and I would have my revenge. I spent years tracking the killer, until one day, I came to understand it had been me all along. I was young and distraught when I first summoned Ifrit. I hadn't known such power lurked within me, or that it could even exist at all. That transformation was instinctive, uncontrolled, and it was by my hand that Joshua died. I can but imagine the anguish this caused you. There was anguish, yes, and a guilt I will never accept. Escape, 
but I cannot let it stop me. I was born the vessel for Ifrit's power, and I need to know why. I was in search of the answers that, that I went to Phoenix Gate and delved into the ruins below. There I found the courage to face my past and accept the truth, and then everything faded to black. Hmm. Your tale suggested something in the ruins, something mysterious, some mysterious force was responsible for your inadvertent journey. And if you arrived in Eorzea from a place sacred to the Phoenix and its flames, then it stands to reason. Yes? What are you thinking? I'm thinking that to see you home, we must return to the beginning. Our road takes us back to the burning wall. Once there, your furry comrade will lead us to exactly where we need to go. Did you find the button yet, Mom? Oh, I've died again. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. It's like some flashing thing, and it says defend him. Yeah. But I don't know how I'm supposed to do it, because I you... can't attack E for it. No, you walk into it, and you click on it or whatever, and then it he tries to slam you down, and this, like, shield pops over you, and then you mash this button that pops up in the middle of your screen. Oh, so I have to stand in the thing and wait for him to jump on me. Yes. Oh. That's what I was not doing right. Okay. I didn't understand. That seems unfair. Uh, I think it explained it to you. I think you just didn't read it. It did not. Don't be smart. It did, it did explain it to me. No, I doubt it. <laughs> it's on the recording while it did. No. You're a liar. That's not the house. Mirror night. This thing's disgusting. Oh, I'm going to do this here. Get away from me, that thing. Yuck, you're gross. Okay. Alright, so with that, I'm actually going to end the episode here. Um, in the next one, we'll probably finish it off and see what we have to do and go from there. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell to be notified of new episodes. And as always, I will catch you in the next one. Alright, thanks. Bye-bye.